do you see here? Hi guys and gals. Hope you're all well. I was looking that way because there was this guy walking with two mini collies. They're a little bit too far now, actually, too, for me to show them to you. Really cute. Uh, I haven't seen mini collies in a long time now. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So it's hump day, Wednesday, and I hope you're well. Uh, I've been out walking a bit and I'm almost home, but I uh, just stopped on the bench here to, to vlog a little bit. Yeah, yesterday I was, I had an online Spanish class and they're an hour, well, 55 minutes. And I was alone, <laughs> alone with the teacher. Um, they can take up to six people and maybe it was the time, maybe it was the subject, I don't know, but I was alone. And it was hard. <laughs> you know, you can read a language, you can understand it, but then you start talking. And I mean, I know I speak several languages, I speak a few languages, put it that way. And when I learned German, it was the same thing. You know, I, I was way more proficient in reading uh, and listening. But when I started to talk, I mean, it just, the words that I all knew just disappeared. And I felt it was a little bit the same yesterday, although she, she helped me along quite a bit. And it was, you know, we, it, was a, um, it was on the past tense but using the theme, like the template of talking about your weekends and things like that. So it, overall it went okay. But uh, at the end, I, I was chatting with the lady a little bit. Since we were alone, we were actually able to chat, which is something that normally you can't do in those classes. And uh, she did say, you know, well, you know, it's a normal thing. Don't worry about it. And as she said, you did actually pretty good. She says, don't forget you had a whole hour when normally that hour was shared with up to six other people. So you spoke a lot, lot, lot more than you would have. Yeah, anyway, so it was it was not too bad. So today I'm, uh, yeah, I took a, time, a bit of a time to walk. And uh, this afternoon was a pretty interesting day for us as the family. Uh, my second son, who's a psychologist, uh, you get a master's degree in psychology. So he's a psychologist by training, but has been teaching uh, to uh, immigrants. And uh, and anyway, so not to get into the whole details of his private life, but uh, he's been doing a, another, uh, I guess it's kind of like a second master's over three years um, while, he was, uh, uh, while he was working. So that is hard stuff, hard stuff. And he just finished his classes, well, his degree, that second degree last week. And uh, he's getting his uh, his little diploma. I say little diploma. I shouldn't say it that way, but his diploma. What I mean by little diploma is like it's his second diploma. And he, he, he kind of underplays it. That's why I say it that way. But I'm really proud of him. I mean, uh, you know, doing things like that when you're working, it's not easy. You got to do all your job. And at the end, you got to do basically a second job anyway any of you who've done that know how how difficult that can be so yeah i'm really proud of him uh with his big diploma <laughs> oh there's people running around there's two th reasons there's a lot of people uh running these days there's a big uh, a big race on the weekend it's uh it's called the uh, mora fribourg but it's um it's a 15 it's a 15 kilometer but it's almost all it's completely uphill so you start at a lake and you run 15 kilometers more or less uphill uh to to freeborg so it's it's a it's it's a big race and then at the same time uh, in the beginning of the school year so we're still in september there's always the uh, phys ed classes that have the people running around here so there's a bit of both right now yeah hmm but that's that's fun. I mean, I'm I'm quite enjoying actually seeing the people out running and so on and walking their dogs and so on. So there's you know there's a bit of action. It's uh, it's it's amusing because normally when I walk, it's pretty much the same people all the time. Um, I mean, we don't know each other. We say hello. That's a, very much a Swiss thing. I mean, you always greet the people as you walk along. Sometimes you might even say a few words, but. Uh, Usually you just greet them. The Swiss are not automatically the most friendly people. Once you know them, yeah. But nevertheless, when you're walking, especially in the countryside, you always greet the person. You know, so they're they're well brought up. 
put it that way. Uh, there's something happening in our town actually next week. Uh, I'll tell you about it. You can, add, you can tell me what you think about it, but you know, usually the speed limits in a, in a town or in a village or what are 50 kilometers uh, an hour. That's thir uh, 50 kilometers an hour. So that would be about 30 miles an hour. And now they're bringing them down everywhere in town to 30. So 30 kilometers an hour. And uh, the reason they're giving us is that, uh, uh, oh, we want to have less noise. And they've reduced the parking lots and things like that. It's part of the green lobby, put it that way. It's very much a question of our town right now. But what do you think? 30 kilometers an hour is pretty slow. Now, one of the things about 30 kilometers an hour uh, for anybody is especially when you're used to driving 50 or what, is that over here, you know, if you're so many kilometers over the speed limit, you get a, a fine and it's, it really progresses very, very quickly up to the point where if you were going, let's say 50 in a 30 zone, you could probably lose your driver's license for a period and get an enormous fine. So I don't know. I sometimes feel that uh, there's a big scam. You know, get a lot of money. Like they've made the parking times uh, in town. Uh, there's no place in town where you can park for free. And they made the hours longer. So you got more and more hours. And they, they openly said it. It was, you know, to get better, more revenue more revenue and they've got the they've got the parking police uh beefed up and walking around so yeah it's slowly going to uh i'm not going to say a car free town because they can't do that completely but they could if it, i mean they would if they could yeah that was a mini rant i guess about the local politics uh what else oh i did something on i i, I amused myself the other day actually i mean uh um well, those of you who are watching this vlog, and one of the persons is watching this vlog, is Dave Nicholson. I mean, so I, I, I and he does a lot of uh, AI art. And I read something somewhere um, about um, uh, selfies with um, uh, oh, what? What? Goodness sakes! What was the animal again? The ostrich. Oh, don't you hate that when you just all of a sudden forget it? Anyway, so, and I made, actually, I took a picture of myself. I went and removed the background using a, a, an AI tool, cleaned it up, and then wrote in, the, it's Firefly, it's from Adobe, and then wrote in actually what I wanted. And it just basically generated a new, uh, uh, generated a completely new picture with me, uh, with the animal, it's like, so, and it was like, wow. And... <laughs> You know, I guess, you know, you can tell. Well, most people can't, but some could for sure find out that it was a fake. But where I'm getting at is that there's so many now deep fakes and you can make them. If you're a real pro, you can really make a deep fake on that one. Anyway, that was quite interesting. Oh, and what else did I do? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Not well, lately there's been a certain person and uh, if you're watching these videos, it's not any of you because uh, the person I'm talking about does not watch these videos. But uh, on Facebook, and I've unfollowed them. I haven't unfriended them, but I've unfollowed the person for the extremely offensive um, comments and, um, and pictures that the person has been putting up lately. I'll just leave it at that. But I, I just, you know, I didn't, I didn't make any comments on the persons because I thought it's not worth it. I'm not going to create a war, but I'm just going to simply unfollow. I didn't completely unfriend the person. Uh, but, you know, unfollow, I guess, means simply on Facebook, you don't see their stuff anymore. So I will have to actively go and see what the person is, is, is writing or if I want to know what's going on in the person's life. But... Um, yeah, I mean, after a while, I thought, like, you know, it's too much. Um, you know, sometimes you know that some of the people that are your, I'll call it Facebook acquaintances, because friends is really not the right word, is it? But, you know, sometimes you know that the people that are there uh, are of a certain persuasion, and you are just simply insulting them. And you know that you're insulting them. That's the thing. Sometimes you know, and you're doing it on purpose. And, and that, that really gets my goat. Anyway. So yeah.
Anyway, oh, I see, 10 minutes. Yeah, I'm up to 10 minutes now. So I'm going to stop there. And I hope you have a great week. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to have a nice afternoon later on. So DC signing off. Take care, everybody, and hope you have a good Wednesday. Bye-bye.